People here in the Bay Area are showing their support by taking to the streets. The San Cabrera ran up and down Dale Maverick for 26 miles in the heat. A lot of heat. He had a sign on his back asking drivers to beat for boss. And as you can imagine, he got a whole lot of beeps, a lot of boss. And he joins us this morning. Thanks for being here. Good to see you. Um, you are a runner. Yes, I enjoy running. 26 miles? No. How <laughs> much? Yeah, I enjoy running three or four miles at a time. You did this on uh, Tuesday. What is that? Tuesday. Dave, what was the temperature on Tuesday? <coughs> it was 92 degrees. <coughs> I think you may have picked the hottest day. <coughs> we did. Yeah, we did. Well, I, I hear it. You, I, I'm told you said it was just something or whatever. Yes, it was, it was an incredible experience. Let me tell you, the first... I felt like I got here, first of all, faster um, running here than I did this morning um, during the traffic. But anyway, yeah, to Hillsboro, I, I ran one stretch without stopping, and that, I shouldn't have done that. I should have taken a break because um, I didn't realize how much longer I had to run. Yeah. There's somebody running with you. Who is that? That's my girlfriend, Tanya Picard. Did she go the whole way? She didn't. But she, I couldn't have done this without her, let me yeah. tell you. She, she met me at certain spots to give me, to rehydrate me, give me water and different things. You ran, you carried a flag. Here it is. And here it is. You got it with you this morning. Tell me why you want to do this. You know what? After hearing about Boston's tragedy on, on Monday, I, I felt much sorrow as, as most Americans in shore have. And uh, I don't have any direct connections to anyone in Boston. But as you, as you know, we were all affected in some way by this tragedy. And, uh, you know, I just felt like I, I didn't decide this until Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, I woke up and I said, you know what? I'm going to run. I enjoy running. And uh, I'm going to do it, and that's it. You yeah. know, God gave me the strength to be able to push through. Yeah. And uh, like I said, I, I have no direct connections to Boston, but I was, it was just a, an amazing experience, and wow. I, I was what, happy to do it. What was it like then? Once you committed to doing it, you're carrying that flag, you got the sign on your back, and you start hearing people honking their horns. What was that like? It felt great. You know, honestly, though, I wasn't thinking. I was running, and I was feeling a lot of pain in my legs. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't doing this so that people could be by me. I wasn't doing this. Um, running so that I can get the attention. I was doing this to create an awareness for, for life. And uh, obviously we're all going to become, you know, we're, ne we're never going to forget this tragic event that occurred on Monday. Yeah. So I'm not bringing more awareness to that. What I am bringing more awareness to is the fact that we only have one life. And it's, even myself, including myself, we can take life for granted. And so to appreciate it is, you know, is, is important. Yeah. And, and to, you know, to live it to the best of your ability and use the talents that we have that God has given us here on earth and utilize them maximally. You're a good guy. You're th that's a very nice thing to hear this morning. Thank you. Yeah, very there's, not, there's, there's a lot of bad news. You've been watching it with us. There's a lot sure, of bad sure. news this morning. So it's, 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 uh, it's good to hear somebody like you. So um, how long did it take you to do it? It took me uh, exactly 7 hours, 34 minutes, and 52 seconds to complete the 26.2 miles. You were timing yourself. Yeah, yeah, I had it on the watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah you can do it again? Or is, is that a one-time thing? Absolutely not. David, wait, did I say? He's a former professional soccer player, right? Yes, I played, uh, I played professionally in Bayamon, um, Puerto Rico. Yeah. Last year I played there for, for one year. And I was playing in college, but yeah. That's irrelevant. That has nothing to do with... Yeah, I just want to... Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Well, listen... Good job, interviewer. That's um, irrelevant. You look good, because I heard you were... You, I heard you were hurting yesterday. Yeah, I'm still hurting today, let me tell you. And I think I'm going to be hurting for the next week. It's okay. Uh, I was happy to be hurting for a long time. Hey, come on. Come on, hang out with us, and we'll go... Can we go on? Yeah, I'll do it. Well, she'll watch. She'll, she'll be there with us. She'll hydrate us. Do you know, we got March of Dimes coming up. Come hang out with us in March of Dimes. Walk. We'll just walk in. Come hang out with Sounds us. Sounds great. We'll, we'll, we'll trade numbers. We'll get it all done. Sounds good. Thank hey, you. Take care of yourself, man. Hey, you too. Good good to see you. Take care. Right. You too. And let's get that man a bottle of water. He still needs some. Coming up, Ladies Night on American Idol.